All right, to find the area of a rhombi, of, of a rhombi, of a rhombus, which are, you know, rhombi when they're plural, and find the area of kites, we're going to take a look at the shape and see it as a set of triangles rather than as a single shape. Uh, remember, a rhombus tends to look kind of like a diamond, and a kite, of course, looks like an old-fashioned kite on its side. And what we do to calculate the area is divide those two shapes corner to corner. Um, as you can see, that are done here with the dashed lines. And when you divide any one of these shapes up corner to corner, you end up with four right triangles. Um, let me do a better color to, to outline these. So you can see we end up with four right triangles. Here's one in this direction, and then you know obviously all the way around the outside. And you may recall from our lesson on finding the area of triangles that if you take a right angle triangle and you duplicate it, so you sort of fold it up this way, like so then you end up with another right angle triangle that forms the rest of a rectangle and we could find the area of the triangle by finding the area of the rectangle that it's half of and then we find you know we calculate the area of the rectangle which is really easy and then just divide the answer in half well when you look at one of these uh, rhombus here you see that this triangle down here on the bottom is going to be the same as that triangle up there on top so actually what we could do is take this triangle here and put it up here and then take this triangle down here and we could put it up here and then we, instead of the actual original shape we've taken exactly the same area exactly the same amount of shape and we made one long narrow rectangle now the narrow long narrow rectangle is going to be the same length as the original rhombus was from here to here which is labeled D1 in our diagram but it's only going to be half of the height of the original rhombus which was from here to here and is labeled D2 in this diagram so the little rectangle we're actually going to find the area of right here is only going to have half of the area of the original um, rectangle that we'd form if we were to outline the whole thing in one big massive square so if we're going to multiply the length of the original rhombus by the height of the original rhombus then we'd end up calculating the area of this huge rectangle and that's way too much space but if we were to take the length of the original rhombus and multiply it by one half of the height of the rhombus so the distance from right here down to right here then we'd end up with the right calculation, we'd end up with the right area. So the formula for a rhombus or for a kite is actually similar to the formula for a triangle. It's one half base times height, very similar, except in this case base and height are the diagonals of the shape rather than from one straight side to another straight side. So if we take a look at the right hand one here, I'm going to put in actual measurements. Let's say that, um, that this diagonal across here is eight units and that the diagonal running vertical here is six units then what we do is we take six times eight so one diagonal times the other diagonal that's 48 and we divide that answer by two and so our overall area for this particular kite down here would be 24 so we're just going to take the full diagonal length the full diagonal height multiply them together and then take half of our answer and if you want to take half the height and multiply it by the whole length and not divide at the end that's fine just like we we're talking about with triangles it doesn't matter what order we do these things in and it may make a difference as far as your calculations since one half times d1 times d2 is three multiplication calculations we can do this in any order we want and it may be easier to multiply them in a different order instead of just left to right so keep that in mind and we'll take a look at that see if we can do a practice one like that in our uh, example questions but really very simple calculation just multiply the two diagonals by each other and take half the answer let's see the example questions and see how it plays out